join us as we traverse through time and space on another episode of Whatever This Is. Let me show you two reverse uh, reverse outs that I have. Um, they came from two different places. One of them actually came with a shifter that I had purchased. Trying to solve my shifting problem. Uh, notice that the hole up here at the top is kicked off a little bit compared to this one. This uh, ridge right here is much higher than this one. So I've tried all three. I have the original in there, it has a little VW thing on it, I don't know if it's original original, but it's the VW part, and that still seems to be working the best. I don't know, I might uh, pop the shifter out and try some other things. Alright, so here's the original shifter, it's pretty beat up, I don't know if the spring tension is different than the one I have in there now. The one I have in there now is the same thing as this, except for new. So. I'm going to stick with that one. This one's out permanently. We may try the scat. I'm not sure. All right, here's the scat shifter I had in for a bit. Now, I had this in before I changed the bushing. It was giving me the same problem, the, the uh, first and third gear. I'm going to show you how I sort of spread that out a little bit and completely solve my problem, but uh, here's something I might try later. I do think it's cool looking. I uh, switched out the shift plate on the bottom here, the reverse out plate. I've been arguing with the different shifters. Let's see if I can get this one to go. The reverse. There we go. Sure I don't run any kids over. Alright, let's see if we can get it. There's neutral, there's first. Second. I think it might actually work. Oh my god. Let's find out. Right up in the first. Let's go this way. Second. Wasn't sure if I was going to have to double clutch or not. Looks like we're okay. Let's get her up into third. No problem. I think I may have sorted out my <clears throat> my uh, shifting problem. I want to go over that. Yeah, there's a Volkswagen for sale. Too new. All right, let's get her into neutral. Let's see. Get her back up into first. There it is. I'm in first. Wait for some traffic to go by. I'm a little slow on the draw. I got a hard turn here. All right, come on, man. Let's do this. Get on main road here. There we go. Oh man, I'm not. There we go. Now we're in first. Jesus Christ. I'm having a similar problem. The first and third are very close together. Uh, let me get around this thing before the semi comes over. Second. No problem. Third. Great. All right. I'm going to call it solved. I'm going to show you all the things that I had to deal with. So I get up to my turn. I can get myself home. There it is. All right. Get it down into neutral. Pull back out. I'm gonna make this turn. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, there it is again. Oh well. I'm gonna still be fighting with it. All right. Let's get her in the first. Second. 
there. All right, so far. Keeps wanting to kick it down into reverse. I should probably follow the diagram on here because second is a little bit over. It's not directly down like you would think it would be. Second. A little low. Alright, let's get her back up into the driveway. Oof. Alright. Okay. Let's get her up in the first. Right, so what I did when down. I put in the new um, new reverse out plate and the new shifter, what I did is uh, you loosen these uh, up. He's a, this is a 13 millimeter. Seems like everything on this thing is 13 millimeter. You loosen it up just enough so you can move the plate underneath and the shifter. What I did was as I shoved everything up as far to the front and as far to the passenger side as I could get it, which helped uh, spread out uh, first and third a little bit. Still making mistakes on that, but I'll get used to it. I'm also going to start maybe double clutching and see if that helps. I don't know if the synchros on this thing are there, if they exist at all, or just worn out. But we're going to find out. So normally they would tell you to push it over to the left and back. I tried that, made it worse. So what I did was it went to the passenger side and forward. And it seems to be shifting a lot better. I can at least get into first gear a lot easier. I used to have to argue to get into it. I've also noticed that you got to be true to the shift pattern. It's not straight down. That's what gets you into trouble when you're popping into reverse or, you know, but sometimes you go into fourth gear, but yeah, that part's rare. Uh, but third, ge third gear and uh, first gear are very close together on this thing. First gear is sort of off to the brake and the third gear sort of sits about here. Anyway, we're going to get this sorted out eventually or I'm just going to have to learn to live with it. <laughs> 